All right, we are leaving the Cypress Bayou Casino Hotel. That was a uh, fun place. Enjoyed our stay there. Really nice people, nice staff, and uh, fun times. All right, we're on to the next adventure, and we don't know where that's going to be. We'll see uh, where the day takes us. Join us! We just paid four twenty nine for gas over there, so the prices are a little better down here. Ciao, y'all! So this leg of our uh, adventure, our journey today, takes us to uh, Jean Rent, Louisiana. I think there was recently a fire up here. Let's see if we can see what is going on with that. Yeah, here we go. Look at this fire up here, Mr. Chef. Burn something down. I'm not sure what was in those buildings, but uh, yeah. Definitely burned down for some reason. It's an old city pharmacy. We are still in search of that uh, infamous window, stained glass window that Mrs. Chef has been looking for. So if we find anything, uh, antique shops or something that might sell windows, that's what we're still searching for today. Jaden Fresh Donuts. Yes, yeah, you need more donuts in your life. Me too. Mr. Chef, you need more fruit in your life. I do need more fruit in my life. So we're coming through New Iberia. These houses are just gorgeous in this area. Look at that tree. Look at the size of that crazy tree. Insanity. This is beautiful, but it needs a roof. Lots of cool houses, old historic homes. Need a second vacation home down here. Yeah, we do. You need to win the lottery, Chef. I need to play the lottery to win it, so I guess I need to buy a ticket. Louisiana vacation home with a beach house. I don't want to pay for it. He has lots of porch. It's like a gingerbread house. Tories. Look at this one. Look at this home. I've got to get my front porch so I can do some front porch sitting. Yes, let's, uh, let's check out downtown here. made it to New Iberia and uh man look at that that's an old theater Evangeline. Evangeline check that out that is too cool looks like there's another one over here to the left there's another old theater spot for tea We might stop here and smell the petunias. Butterflies and tea. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Is that a, a hotel? Or? Got a golf station over there. Or is that a... Um... So I'm going to pull over for a minute and uh, check out this old theater.
has really preserved well. Circa 1930. So we're gonna check out the museum, but it is closed until Thursday. So I guess we will not be checking out the museum. Anyway, it's very cool downtown and uh, very busy downtown. All the shops are. You know, the shops are open, lots of traffic. Definitely not a uh, Walmart type of downtown. But I saw this, I'm going to check this out. So I believe this guy's name is pronounced uh, George Rodrigue. He was uh, born here in uh, New Iberia. And uh, I believe he was featured on Anthony Bourdain's How I First uh, Heard About This Guy. He died back in 2013, but he was famous for painting these blue dogs. Um, so that's a pretty cool little monument to him. Right here in the center of town. And uh, this park here is dedicated to uh, his memory. Yes. No, no, he was famous for painting the blue dogs. And uh, I seen him, I believe, it was on Anthony Bourdain a long time ago. That's how I first heard about it, the guy. And I did not know he was from here, so that's uh, it's interesting. All right, well, you ready to mosey, Mrs. Chef? Well, let's go to the rest and see what All right, let's do it. So, we're going to go check out the Acadian uh, Cultural Center. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here or what. We'll see. Uh, if not, we'll catch you on the other side. If so, we'll show you from uh, some sights from inside. And we are here in uh, Lafayette. All right, the Acadian Culture Center was pretty fascinating. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably break that off into a separate uh, video because it'll end up eating up too much space in a normal video. So probably what we will do we'll see how it goes but uh we're off to the next location so uh yeah let's keep on this trip right it's gonna take us into our next stop here uh bro bridge and we have uh done one video here back in the day and it was super good restaurant we went to so we'll see if it's still around Cajun donuts, Mrs. Chef. You need some more donuts? Boy, they like the donuts down here. And Tell bananas. you what. Oh. All right, there's a fabulous restaurant around the corner here. If it still exists, uh, I want to go check it out. We'll see. The burger joints look good too, Mrs. Chef. Just about starving too, so we gotta find some good food. We'll go over the, the drawbridge here, and then uh, we're gonna turn back around and go back into town and find something to eat because it is way past dinner time. All right, 
Like there's a restaurant we really liked, but it closed at two and it's after two. Damn it. All right, we'll find something different. All right, so we're at Angels and Jellos. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but uh, old school burger shop here in Brobridge. I mean, old school. And it smells like my grandmother's house, to tell you the truth. Uh, not a pleasant way. But yeah, if you're looking for some old school nostalgia, this is your place. Check out that old slush puppy machine. I haven't seen one of those in decades. All right, Mr. Chef, this is pretty good. You got sweet tater fries. It's like a nice ham patty burger and a fresh onion rings. Mm. Looks good. So this place here in uh, Brobridge was freaking awesome. Old school. That's the name of it right there. I mean, the guy that owns the place is back there cooking the food for you. Been in business 20 years, he said. And a uh, super awesome hospitality. I feel like your family. Anyway, we're gonna keep on rolling on here. See what else we find. Got food, huh? Got I don't know. Food. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Fine French cuisine, Cajun food, closed on Tuesdays. Laissez les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll, folks. Antiques. 2 0. It's weird today is a Tuesday, and uh, most everything's closed on Tuesdays in this town. It's kind of a oddity, I guess. Yeah, most, most things you think be closed on Mondays, but I guess a lot of people stay open on Mondays and closed on Tuesdays. I don't know. But everything is closed. No return tomorrow, 10. And close on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, almost everything's closed. Right. Place looks pretty awesome, but it's closed Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's the kind of hours, if I had an open restaurant that was open to, to the public and not doing catering, I'd have my hours like that. Right. Yep, I guess we'll uh, head on out. See what we find in our next destination. We don't know where our next destination will be yet. That's the beauty of the road trip. You just never know where you're going to end up. <clears throat> I had no idea I'd be sitting in an old school burger joint today when I woke up this morning. That's the way I like to live. My downtime, of course. Mrs. Chef, you got to wear this to our next bull. All right. No Check problem. Check that out. It's freaking I think awesome. the middle one's more my style. Not so busy. Right. <laughs> Love it. Pretty awesome, though. I guess that's Miss Crawfish. Oh, who do we have here? Marilyn. This is the Marilyn Monroe, or is this the uh, version from the uh, guest? Uh, what's her name? Yeah. What's the guest model's name? Uh, when I died? Yeah, it looks like the Anna Nicole Smith version. Kind of like, kind of a chubby face. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That was, uh, the owner in there was tripping me out. He was, there's a group of ladies in there eating, and they said, uh, he said, where y'all coming from? He had a really strong accent. He said, where y'all coming from? He said, oh, we, we've been out in New Orleans. We're going back, wherever the hell they're going. He's all, oh, you've been out in New Orleans. Well, that explains why you look the way you do. <laughs> I'm gonna stop laughing. Two
folks, it's getting late in the day and we are in the town of you turn, but you're on the Bunky. Road. Yeah, if look over here, look at all the doors. I bet they might have windows. I'm saying they might have your windows. Jimbo's crawfish and daiquiri. There's a melon right there. Need the they call them sugar melons. Yes, we need a sugar melon. There's a pizza shack. Sugar melon. Cool looking place. There's the Bunky Police. Bunky. Gib Coast. Pizza Hut, old school style. Here's McDonald's. No Tell Motel. I could use an afternoon delight. <laughs> So the waving uh, Better Call Saul guy here pointed us in the right direction. They had the Sugar Town melons right over there, and uh, we're gonna try one out. So for the last I don't know 40 miles, it's been nothing but sugar cane fields, and uh, you see those stacks popping up like that back there. That's uh, that's the incinerator st uh, stacks where they refine the sugar. The process is pretty fascinating actually if you guys want to there's more of them over there but read up about how they uh, process the sugar is pretty interesting all right folks it's getting late in the day we're coming through la comp and uh this town is actually named after a racehorse back in the 1800s but, uh, Anyhow, it's getting late in the day, and I think we are going to uh, go ahead and try to find somewhere to stay and call it a day and uh, do this all over again tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.